Hi, welcome to Grounded in Truth. I'm Christina. And that's my dog's tail hitting stuff in the background. Um, I'm here to obsess about Scientology. And if you too are obsessing about Scientology and the Aftermath Foundation and Danny Masterson trial and Leah Remini and A.A. Ron and Mark Headley and Claire Headley and Mike Rinder you might enjoy my ramble. Um, I'm here to shed a light on Scientology, whatever that looks like, very imperfectly, no nails, not doing drag. Um, I'm here because it's not okay what's going on with Scientology. It's not okay with me at all. And it's just a one kind of condensed, condensed version of things that are not okay with me. <laughs> so I feel the need to ramble about it. And, and I know that if you've been following SPTV, you'll be right there with me. Um, bless everybody in this whole world, this whole situation. And my thoughts and prayers are with the Jane Doe's. And, uh, and in the video, we talk about something that I totally spaced on in my video last week and it, it's just interesting you know I'm not perfect I'm not gonna remember everything but when Leah was talking about this with Aaron I realized I had totally blocked out part of this whole story so uh, I talk about that a little bit and just a lot of psychology, philosophy, like whatever, this is how my brain works. And this is what I'm obsessed with right now. The injustice of Scientology. The injustice that they are billionaires. They don't pay taxes. And they abuse people. Right now someone's being abused in Scientology. So, if I can shed a light on it, that's what I'm here for. So, that's your bag. Stick around. Okay, so yeah, so Danny Masterson is on trial for raping several women uh, currently. He's on trial for that. And Leah Remini, uh, when she was talking to Aaron, she mentioned, well, she didn't mention, she talked about something that was very important that I left out of my video last week and that's the fact that not only were these victims of Danny Masterson alleged victims of Danny Masterson um, not only were they violated um, and you know attacked uh, accosted they they were also taught, told, and convinced that it was their fault. It was their fault that they were raped. And they had to spend money and take courses and get interrogated by people until they fully understood until they showed Scientology that they fully understood what would happen to them if they went to the police. So their Scientologists, public Scientologists, have to take responsibility for pulling in, for creating a situation where they are abused and attacked and accosted and raped. So when I heard Leah talking about that, I realized, oh my God, in my video, I totally glossed over that. I didn't even mention it. I just said that Scientology made them act like it never happened. But not only were they not able to tell authorities beyond the church, they were told and convinced that it was their fault. As if life worked like that. It doesn't. 
Now, as a victim of abuse, let's just call it that, um, very various ways, I I recognize my part in it. Not my fault. People are abusive and abused me. Not anybody's fault, but my responsibility lies in asking them, asking and answering the question, what was my part in it? For me, what was my part in it? I chose people that didn't respect me. I chose to be around people that um, were not kind or whatever. You fill in the blank, right? Um, so I know... I know that I had a I had a part in it, and that doesn't negate the fact that I was abused. It doesn't change anything other than trying to figure out what did I do so I don't do it again. Because obviously, I never want to abuse, be abused again. I never want to be raped again. How about that? So I'm processing my own stuff, and realized that when Leah brought that up, I had totally blocked that out. The fact that these women, these victims are, ha I can't imagine, having to relive it all, having to talk about it in front of a room full of people. Like, that, and it, like every aspect of this is so uh, triggering, is so sad, and so makes me feel really hopeless. So when I watch the SPTV and these guys are able to laugh about it and laugh about stuff that you would think it is, no one could ever laugh at it. Well, you have to, you have to get to a point in your recovery where you're just like, God damn, you know, L. Ron Hubbard was a, was a brilliant man. He, he did this thing. He made this thing happen. Um, I'll give him that, you know, but David Miscavige, as we hear uh, is very sadistic and very abusive uh, to people around him. And that kind of person being in charge of this whole foundation, you know, it's scary. So I can't just sit here and act like it's not happening right now, you know, 100 miles from me or whatever it is. So it's frightening, but we have to educate ourselves. I feel like I have to educate myself. So that I'm not in a situation like that again. Um, so yeah, it's real hard to trust people. And that's okay. Um, give them time and you'll see if you can trust them or not. Uh, as someone who has been a victim of, of this abuse, that's, you know, I'm talking from that point of view. And also, the, the actually the main, the whole point of why I feel compelled to make this video today is that um, regardless, I just want to put it out there and remind everybody who's watching SPTV or making videos on SPTV, this is what matters. Getting the truth out is the important part. Um, who knows how the jury is going to find? We have no idea. Um, and we have to accept that. <laughs> we, we can't control what we think what we think is supposed to happen. We can't control people. We can't control outcomes a lot of times. And this is one of those times where we, we don't even know. I don't even know Danny Masterson. But I know men like that. I know women like that. And one plus one usually equals two. But whatever, that's what, that's what they're there for. That's why they are in court for the jury to find and the judge and whatever, right? But I want us to realize, or SPTV people to realize how important this moment in history is. We're still in the before Scientology has fallen. We're still in the, they're still tax free. You know, this is 2023, May, and they're still not paying taxes. They're still laundering money. They're still doing dirty deeds with dirty people. And they're still abusing f families and children and adults. Like this is going on in my lifetime. And it makes me crazy. And I think that's probably why SPTV is so popular. Because it makes us all crazy. And we're all like, what the hell do you have to do 
to go to prison? Like what, how bad can, like, what, what does it have, you know, what, what do you have to do? We're all like, why is Dave Miscavige being able to run from the authorities for that other case that's going on against Scientology? <sighs> so I just have to get it all out and share it with people I know understand and feel the same way. And I, I you know, I just want to call attention to that, feel, re recognize and feel the power that we have in this moment to tell the truth. Like David Miscavige and L. Ron Hubbard, the only thing that can take down a billion with a B dollar company that functions with lies, is run by lies, is maintained with lies, is the truth. The only thing that we can do is offer the truth and talk about the truth and recognize it and let it be what it is. You know, not, not one of us can go anywhere and make Scientology stop hurting people and stop taking money. We can't do that, but we can shed a light on it and we can offer our support to people we know that are in uh, destructive uh, relationships or and or cults, same thing. We offer them the support and let them know that we're here for them. As someone who was on the other side in a relationship, being completely 100%, well, 99% manipulated, like totally in this whole thing, thinking all these lies were true. As someone like that, I know that if someone had come at me with aggression or blah, 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 whatever, it wouldn't have helped. Like I, the cognitive dissonance, you need to understand how strong cognitive dissonance is if you want to understand why people end up in relationships like that or cults like that. Because cognitive dissonance is, is believing, basically believing two opposite things at the same time. So I believe that this guy I was with was all these things that he purported to be and had someone come in and, and someone did, someone did call me and say, bitch, run, run from this man. I didn't know her. She was fucking him. She was fucking him at the same time. Like that's how it, it don't even like, I don't even want to get started on that. But my point is had someone come to me aggressively and, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. I would have taken his side. I would have believed him over them. They will believe the cult over you unless something in their mind clicks. And that's not up to you or me to make that happen. What is my job, I feel, is to, like I said, help educate, help people know that they're not alone, help validate their emotions. And, you know, you can't, I can't, and I'm not going through life blaming all the people that have ever hurt me. I'm going through life going, okay, what was my part in it so that I don't do it again? Of course, that's not, I'm not talking about when people are born into abuse or born into a cult. Obviously, that choice is not theirs. And luckily, as we see with SPTV, not only were these people able to escape Scientology, they're able to thrive. They're able to do what is necessary to protect themselves and have fun. Dude, if you don't get the humor of Mark Headley or Aaron Smith Lemon, sorry, AA Ron is always what goes, goes in my head. If you don't get the humor, I don't know what to tell you because these guys are hilarious. The, all of them. Everybody's so funny. And, and that's the thing. If someone can endure, and I know this is really heavy, but whatever. If someone can endure abuse and then get out of that situation and laugh once, to me, that's a miracle. That's where God's at or like whatever you believe in. Like that's, it's just amazing to me and inspiring to me. And we, so 
like I think I've said, I was never in Scientology. I was just in the re- rela- with several relationships with manipulative people. And, and I'm not going to sit here and feel sorry for myself for the rest of my life because of, oh, I trusted so-and-so and they did this and that. No, I'm just going to keep my eyes open and not let anybody else do that to me. Those people that hurt me, karma or whatever you want to call it, I'm not worried about it. I'm here because I believe that the truth always wins. It may take years, it may take generations, but it always does. Because reality is reality, no matter what you do in it. You can't change it, you can't, it is what it is. And I'm coming to see that more clearly and accept that more clearly. Um, and you know, it's a process, it's a progress, it's a whatever, it's a, it's the journey, it's the life journey, right? So, let's see, I took some notes. Oh yeah, that was that. Yeah, so just, again, just remember, like who, it doesn't even matter what you're, where you're coming from. If you feel compelled to shine a light on Scientology and their abusive practices, do it. If you're in Scientology and you're starting to question or you have already decided that it's not what you thought it was, it's not what you signed up for, uh, the Aftermath Foundation can help you. I'm not a member. I have nothing. I just want people to get help. And I know these people will help them. The Aftermath Foundation helps people with their living situations, driving, all that. Like everything that you're worried about, don't worry about it because they got you. They'll catch you. They are a soft place to land. I'm sure they're not perfect. I don't know any of them, but I, I can recognize the truth that they're saying. I see the consistency with the things that they all say, and I recognize it. I wish I didn't. And if you've never been in a relationship with a narcissist, you will never fully understand. You will never. You will never. And God bless for that. But I have, and I know what it feels like, and I know that there's hope on the other side, that it, not every day, not every day has to suck. Um, you don't have to follow these rules to make people in for future generations clear or whatever. Like, that doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. <sighs> Sorry getting all worse <laughs> but I feel very strongly about this um, there's just been too much abuse I've seen too much abuse and heard too much to not say just one little thing that I you know this little video probably not gonna get watched by anybody but Osa and that's okay I think I said that already right I have a memory recall disability so I forget my mind is very selective with what it remembers, and it's, it's a challenge every day, let me tell you. So, yeah, I'll repeat myself a lot. But So this is what's going on. This is why I'm here. I, Aaron, I was watching his live, and he said something about Trump was, um, like, whatever, found guilty or something. So that'll be interesting. But, you know, this is the world we're in. This is the world we're in. So can't change them. Can't change them. Can't force your loved ones to face how destructive their cult is or their relationship. It's not like that. It's not like all of a sudden, oh, oh, I see. I see the light. It's not like that. Just like cults and, and, and mind control takes a while to, to really dig in. It's going to take a while for it to unwind. And... I'm here for it. I'm fucking here for it. I'm here to watch Scientology fall in my lifetime. And if Scientology does or is interested or has ever or whatever thought that I was someone interesting to watch, you know, whatever. I, I don't want to bait them to follow me around. I, I think they probably already do because of the older videos that I've made. Um, might not, might, like, whatever, like, get in line. You want to stop me? Get in line. I've been through it. I know what it looks like. I know what it sounds like. 
and I don't fucking care. I don't care because the truth will always be the bottom line. The truth will always win. So if, you know, Scientology decides that they want to follow me, well, y'all are going to hear all about it. Hopefully they won't. Hopefully. Well, here's the thing. Here's the last thing. I'll leave you with this. People like David Miscavige, people who are narcissists or sociopaths, you don't, you need to understand that there's no limit to what they will do to get their way. And, and if you have one billion dollars to play with, to work with, that's a lot of power. Kind of. I mean, it's false power, you know, but David Miscavige can make things happen, whatever he wants. Whatever he wants to do, he can do that because that's how much money they have. So nothing that happens is going to surprise me. That I learned with these people. Like you, 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 and I wonder how could anybody come up with this? How could, how, how are there people like this in the world where, well, I don't know how, but I do know that they exist and they will destroy you if they want to. They don't care. That's that's the thing too. And Osa's watching this. David Miscavige doesn't give a shit about you. L. Ron Hubbard was a very intelligent man and figured out enough ways of brainwashing to keep people in this cult. They, they choose the cult over their children, over themselves, over the children that they're forced to abort because they're in the Sea Org and children, they have no time or place for children. Many families have gone through this. Many families have gone through stories. We'll hear stories forever. You know, I hear stories from people. I'm usually like one person away from Scientology or one or two people away that have their stories. And they're in tandem. They're in line with what you guys hear online. It's, it's real. And I'm just here for the truth to prevail, the truth in, in justice. And if the justice system doesn't find Danny Masterson guilty, that doesn't mean he's not. But regardless, <laughs> regardless, we're here together to shine a light on what's real period. Because that's, that's where, like I said, that's where the God is, is in the reality. The not, not denying what's going on, not hoping someone else will change, but accepting that this is what it is right now in this moment. And what are you going to do about it, if anything? Or, you know, what are you going to teach your children how to protect themselves? That's, you know, that's what I do over here. Try to figure out, okay, what's the best way? What's the best way to do this? And um, take care of myself and those that I love and respect. That's what matters to me. And if that's not what matters to you, you might want to look at that. Osa, you might want to look at that. If the joy you think is supposed to come in life doesn't come to you and you don't know your kids or you think that you know, someone who's considered a suppressive person is bad and that person is your child or your parent think about it does that make sense to you like if if yourself and your family don't matter what is the point what is the point of your life if you're spending it following orders from a little man who's very angry and a crazy man who died trying to come up with the answer to his mental illness and in doing so ensnared tens of thousands of people who also want to be mentally well. But they can only believe what Scientology says. They can only they believe that Scientology is the only way 
to, to me mentally well. And it's actually the opposite. It actually can create an insane insanity. It can create devastation. And it does. Families are torn apart. They never see each other again. And that's not okay with me. So if one person sees this video and thinks a little harder about the cult that they're in or the person that they're with, my job is done here. You know. I'm just some chick. I'm just some chick in her freaking house and dog and stuff and it matters to me. I hope it matters to you. And if you need help, contact the Aftermath Foundation and they will help you. I will help you however I can. I, I, you know, I volunteer, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm not, I mean, if somebody needs my help, I will fucking be there if I can. But I may never meet any of these Scientologists that are getting out. I, and I, I don't care. I don't, it's not about me. It's, well, selfishly, I don't want people to be abused. So do with that whatever you want. Now I'm rambling. Okay. Follow my Instagram. It's Grounded in Truth. Um, like and subscribe. Um, I will try to upload more often. Can't promise anything. Um, but if my voice makes a difference, then I'll use it. If it doesn't, then I'll just use it in my personal life. You know, it's fine. It's cool. I like being able to validate what it feels like. I, I, I like to validate for people who have been through this kind of thing that it's not your fault. And, you, and it can get better. You have to choose that daily. You have to choose to recover from the trauma. And you look at the SPTV, it looks like there's freaking a lot of love and light and recovery and hope and endurance and it's a beautiful thing so i'll stop for now thanks for watching see you next time